Good evening, everybody. It's Lorraine Alternative Homesteading on December 11, 2024. I hope everybody's doing well. Um, we had a lot of snow. Well, you know, for Kentucky, it's a lot of snow. We've had several inches of snow this morning and then just a little while ago. And um, it's no fun. It, it, uh, it starts to melt and then it freezes up again and stuff. I'm sure you know what, that, what that's like. Um, I had posted, uh, I, and I just want to say, you see this cat here? This, although the angle is not so, so good here, but this is a commissioned original art. Um, I provided a photo of my cat Cinnamon. Let me see if you can see this better. My cat Cinnamon. Um, he was a feral cat. He was the alpha, he was the alpha male of the cat colony. Um, and when I rescued him, he was, you know, very feral, but friendly with me, knew me. And I rescued his wife and his, his kittens and everything. And um, for, I don't know, for a while, he wasn't, he wouldn't even allow me to touch him. But, you know, he was socialized in the house and using the litter box and all that stuff. <clears throat> but on December 10, 2018, with the assistance of the effing Manalapan, New Jersey Police Department, they used a directed energy weapon on him, and I watched him slowly die as they continued to hit him. <coughs> he was only about six or eight years old at the time. But anyway, the uh, woman that drew this, and her name is Allie, A-L-L-Y, she was on um, eBay, young woman, I, she's doing this artwork to pay for college. But anyway, as soon as I started to talk, I'm getting hit in my throat. I can't imagine why. Talking about the Manalpin, Manalpin New Jersey Police Department of Criminals. And yeah, I, I haven't forgotten Manalpin. Anyway, um, I wanted to read a comment, a response, actually, because this has been something that's been on my mind for a while. Like, I know that a lot of cameras and equipment can pick up tones and sounds and stuff, and they can be analyzed through analyzers and stuff. So, look out for Charlie. In one of his recent videos, it's called Surveillance Networks. So, he was talking about tinnitus and how it could be recorded. So, I left a comment. I mean, he doesn't respond to everybody's comments, but he, I said, um, I have tinnitus 24-7 that has increased in pitch and sound since moving to Kentucky. How do you record tinnitus? Can you do a video on how to record tinnitus? So I actually received a nice response. He said, what you need to do is frequency match your tinnitus as close as you possibly can. You do this with a tone generator. The hard part is many people have artificial tinnitus that actually consists of more than one tone. But some people have a frequency in the left ear and another in the right. But you need to frequency match as close as possible, which will tend to cancel out, quote unquote, the artificial tinnitus in your ear while you're listening to it. After that, you need to record during a time period where there is not a lot of ambient noise. Then you need to carefully go through the recording and see if you can spot the same frequencies within the spectral view of the file. You can only use spectral view to do this. You can also attempt to actually record the tinnitus with a lavalier L-A-V-A-L-I-E-R microphone or an electromagnetic microphone. The lavalier will fit right into the ear canal. 
It is documented that many doctors have stated on record that they can hear a patient's tinnitus with their stethoscope. You can look that up yourself to verify. I have done videos on the past on it. If you can hear it with a stethoscope, you can record it with a microphone. However, if you're picking up a strong signal halfway across the house that matches these tinnitus tones, the idea that someone's tinnitus is quote unquote natural becomes a silly idea. Lastly, tinnitus can also be caused by vibration or even infrasound or ultrasound that cannot be heard. It is essentially vibrating the eardrum, so there are different ways a person can acquire completely artificial tinnitus. So what I'll do is um, I will cut and paste this in the description section because it's, it's a little difficult for me to understand. I don't understand this. I don't know what a tone gen generator is. I don't know where you get one. I wouldn't know how to use one. Um, you know, I know what a microphone is. I'll have to research a little bit about the lavalier microphone. But leave your comments down below. For those of you that have tinnitus, have you been able to record it? Um, I'd be interested to hear that. And then I received a comment on that um, my video called Popular. You know, let's make the neighbor perps popular. And the dogs and the newsletter and stuff. So, a subscriber writes, It sounds like you may have met a friend with a common cause. It's very wise of you to put all documents in protective clear sheets. Then they go on to say, this is the important part. In one of your videos I recently watched, I saw a slight blurring in the background. I think you have someone, or maybe more than one person in your yard wearing invisible cloaks. I think they are responsible for deleting your new friend's phone number out of your phone. And this keeping you alienated. This could account to damages at your homestead. I'm going to comment on that. And thank you so much for being so astute that when you see the blurring on the phone in the background, it's not me doing it. There's somebody that is deliberately blurring my phone. And this has been going on not since Kentucky. This has been going on since New Jersey. I'll give you just a quick example. I was in the Target parking lot. And I had one of those... Uh... Intel goons in a huge white vehicle parked outside of Target watching me. And I was watching this person watching me. And I had my, my car dash cam going and my phone going to catch this person. There's no doubt in my mind that I absolutely recorded this creature. That looked like a sadistic narcissist. It looked like uh, uh, how do I phrase it? He, it looked, he, he looked like he could, could have been an FBI guy. And that's what I had following me in New Jersey. These were guys in their 60s. Men in their 60s following me around these huge, like, escalades. These, you know, $80,000 vehicles, brand new, spanking new. Um... So anyway, I remember when I got home, I was so excited that I was going to be able to play this all back. Gone. Totally gone. So these pe this is how you know that you're not dealing with some regular person spying on you. It's not just a regular person. At least for me. I mean, I can only speak from my own experiences. So when I went to retrieve both the dash cam image and what I know I absolutely recorded on my phone, gone, gone, wiped clean, 
just the way the Manalapa, New Jersey police wipe clean my porch cameras on December 10, 2018. And also when the blondie witch that lived next door that called the police and said that I cursed at her infant son when he was in the trunk of the car, which was a, a lie. And since when is cursing a crime? And I wouldn't even know. I mean, I'm a mom. When my daughter was an infant, I doubt very much she knew what a curse was, even if she heard it. It might not have sounded good, but she wouldn't have known what it was. So yeah, the, the blondie bitch next door, Ilana or something like that, some foreign name, she and her husband. Yeah, so... um. These cloaking, let me tell you about the cloaking. When I moved here in May of 2019, I was sitting at the top of the hill in the dark, watching, you know, YouTube or whatever. And suddenly I hear this rustling. It's almost, it almost sounds like as if somebody was walking down the, the bank. You could hear like people walking. My cats looked, I looked, and all of my cats are watching the same spot as me. And there is no, I don't see a thing. I ended up getting up and I saw that the grass had been down. You know, when somebody walks over grass that's sticking up and then the grass folds down. But we didn't see anything. And that's been happening now for five and a half years. So you're very astute to say that when you recently saw a video, there was a slight blurring in the background. Yes, this happens often. You will see blurring in the background. Oh, it happens all the time. And you said, I think you have someone and maybe more than one person in your yard wearing invisible cloaks. You're absolutely right. There are two people. There are at least two. And he goes on to say, I think they're responsible for deleting your new friend's phone number out of your phone and then keeping you alienated. I absolutely agree. You know why? Because this gentleman moved here from another state. He moved here to retire. He was so upset about what happened with his dog.